Um, all right, so lesson seven. You're going to multiply any whole number by a fraction using tape diagrams. But before you get all confused with that, we're essentially doing what we did yesterday, but we're showing it with, um, like with a tape diagram as opposed to an array, okay? So yesterday we were like working with arrays or counters or things like that, but today we're going to do a tape diagram, which I already, I mean, I kind of used the tape diagram to teach you guys the array. So you kind of already know what you're doing, which is cool. But I'm sure some of you are like, hold on, but yesterday we were kind of like dividing. Like we were taking a whole number and splitting it up into sections, right? And splitting it up into fifths or sevenths or whatever it was, right? Um, that's what's super strange about multiplying fractions is that, like, you'll see when you multiply a whole number by a fraction, it actually gets smaller. Um, so it's really interesting. It goes completely against what you guys have learned thus far. Like you've learned that, okay, when I multiply something, it gets bigger. But actually when you multiply by a fraction, it typically gets smaller, um, which is really strange. That so I know, but it will, I promise, okay? Um, so we're gonna get started. Um, before we do though, let's like review a little bit what a tape diagram is, okay? So what is our whole? 10. 10, good. The whole is always listed above the full tape diagram, right? So our whole is 10. How many pieces do I have right here? Go. Two. Two. So I'm doing 10 divided by what? Two. 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 Good. So how much is going to go in each section? What's 10 divided by two? Go. Uh, Five. Okay. Pretty basic. You guys know that. Okay. What about this one? Think about it. Don't say it. Think about what the division sentence is for this one. Ready? Go. Six divided by two. Six divided by two. What is six divided by two? Three. Three. So there's going to be three in each section. Okay? To equal six. Awesome. All right. Ooh, getting harder. Division sentence. Ready? Go. Nine, Nine divided by three. Nine divided by three. So there's going to be how much in each section? Go. Three. Three. Let's see. All right. And you guys pretty much, you, you get the point, right? So the hole is on top. We're splitting it up between a certain amount. Um, so this is eight divided by four, right? Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Um, what fraction is this piece right here? Go. One, eight. One, four. One, four. four. Okay. So um, what is eight divided by four? Go. Four. Two. Two. Guys, eight divided by four, go. Two. 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 So that means there's two in every box. Okay, um, so what is one fourth of eight? Go. Two. 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 Okay, if this one section is one fourth and there's two in this section, one fourth of eight is two. Okay, does everybody see that? Yeah. That's pretty much what we're doing today. Okay, um, and then, yeah. uh, let's see. We're going to skip that. Okay, cool. So we're going to take, like I said, what we did yesterday, but do tape diagrams instead today. Okay. So the problem says, what is three-fifths of 35, okay? Um, which you guys actually had a problem like this on your homework yesterday that we just corrected. Um, so the first step is to find out what the whole is, okay? Hint, hint, it's the big number. It's the whole number, okay? So what is our whole in this problem? Go. 35. 35, good. If my board would let me write it. Anyway, yep, it's 35, okay? Um, now. We're finding three-fifths of 35, okay? So think of what fraction you would split 35 into, okay, in order to find three-fifths of 35. Think about it. While I try to get my friend to work, beat something up. I'm gonna go all Spider-Man on it, okay? Um, all right, our whole is 35. I should split my tape diagram into what fraction? Go. Fifths. Fifths, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Good. Now, what is 35 divided by 5? Done it. Um, 35 divided by 5 is 7. 7. So there's 7 in each box. Okay? Um, so, everybody with me? Yep. It's pretty straightforward. Um, let's see what they got. Um, okay. So, 35 is our whole. We split it into fifths, which means we split it into how many parts, friends? Show me with your hand. How many parts did we split 35 into? Show me. 
Good. You all should be waving at me. Five. Right? Five. Good. Right? One, two, three, four, five. We split it into five parts. Okay? So kind of what we did, um, and this is multiplication. Believe it or not, this is multiplication. Because what we're finding is three-fifths of 35. So actually the problem that we're solving today is three-fifths times 35. Okay? Sounds super weird. Okay? Uh, but that's how they're going to present it on your homework. Okay? But all you need to know, okay, is when you see this multiplication symbol, I want you to think of the word of. Okay, so for the whole day today, I want you to think, when you see that multiplication symbol, I want you to think of, or vice versa. If you see of, I want you to think multiplication. Okay, because they're going to present it in both ways. Everybody with me? Yeah. Okay, for you, then Henry. Um, so, uh, we don't have our answer yet, right? Correct, we do not have the answer yet. Right. We're, we're going to get there. Uh, Henry. Uh, oh, well, yeah. It's not gonna. Well, it's not gonna be more than the number because that's not a full number. It's mm -hmm. part of a number, so it's gonna be yeah. full off on us. Yeah. So whenever we're working with a fraction, okay, even if we're multiplying, the number or our final answer is gonna get smaller. So we're kind of dividing, but since we're multiplying by a fraction, which isn't a whole number. Um, we're going to get something smaller, okay? So that's why we change it to 3 fifths of 35, because we're just going to find out what that fraction of 35 is, right? Because 3 fifths is a fraction of a number. So if I say 35 of, or sorry, 3 fifths of 35, then we're finding what fraction of a number that is. Just like if, um, remember when we first did our like fraction review, if this is our one whole, okay? and I split it into thirds, okay? This is one third of one, do you agree? Yep. Okay, so we would say, oh, what fraction of one is this? We would say one third, right? So it's not quite a whole yet. Um, so we're doing kind of the same thing, but just with bigger numbers, okay? But I'm gonna move on just so we can get, you know, get going into the main point of it, okay? Um, so, it asks us, how many units should we cut the whole into? You guys already answered that. I said pieces, though, right? Um, so how many? I actually prefer, in this case, pieces, okay? But remember when we were doing, last module when we were doing fractions, I said the bottom number is your unit, right? That's the unit that you're working with. Um, so we're working with fifths. So since we're working with fifths, that told us to split our whole into how many pieces? Five, okay, five. All right, so um, tell your elbow partner right now, what are you going to look at in order to say, um, in order to know how many pieces you should split your hole into? What are you going to look at? Go. Can you wait till uh, Matt or Willie gets up? Okay, five, four, three, Two, one, zero. All right, Henry, what did you tell Drew? What are you going to look at in order to split your hole into? The bottom number, because that's Good. like the unit that you're going to have because it's like yep. fifths. Good, yes, the bottom number of the fraction, okay? So if you're looking at a problem and it says two-fourths of 27, okay? Um, that's a really weird problem. You probably won't have that, okay? Um, but let's say it says two-fourths of 27. You're going to look at the bottom number of the fraction, okay? In that example I just gave you, what's the bottom number? Four. Four, good. And fourths is the unit, right? So you're going to split that whole into fourths. All right. Um, so now it says, how do we find the value of one unit? I, I like to change it to pieces again, okay? Um, so in other words, how do we find the value of one piece, okay? Um, we divide 35 by 5. Right? You guys did that. So you did 35 divided by 5. One piece equals how much? Seven. 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 Okay? So you guys found the value of one piece that way. Okay? So the division sentence we solved was 35 divided by 5. Do you agree? Yes. Good. So one unit equals seven. Okay? Five units, or all of the units together, equals how much? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Okay? So in order to find three units, we're going to do like what we did yesterday, okay? But instead of adding, 
Um, what can we do um, that's the same as repeated addition? What operation? Oliver. Multiplying. Multiplying, okay? So three units times seven, okay? Right, because that's one unit or one piece. Anytime I say unit, guys, think piece. Like this is a piece, a piece, a piece, a piece, a piece, okay? Um, so three, since you're finding three fifths, we're gonna be, do three times one piece. One piece is seven, so we're gonna do three times seven. So what is three times seven? Go. 21. 21, good. Thank you for saying that appropriately. So three fifths of 35 equals what? 21. 21, okay? I know it's a lot. When we do the next one, it'll be a lot less like conversation. You'll see how it flows, okay? Um, can you wait till after Kira? Um, Charlie. Why didn't you do um, five times ten? Because there's uh, five of them. The problem wants me to find three fifths of thirty-five. Oh. What you're talking about is five fifths of thirty-five. So which would be five fifths of thirty-five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Everybody good? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, can you take out your whiteboard? We're going to do this one together, okay? So are you going to go ahead of me? No. No, okay. Whiteboard, ready, go. Huh? Uh, look in that clear bin back there, stuff I found on the floor. you to find out how many are white, okay? Um, so, 
Our whole is two dozen, okay? Right now, at a volume one, remind yourself what a one is, okay? When I snap my fingers, tell your elbow partner how much two dozen equals. Ready? Oh, I didn't hear a one. Let's try again. A one, ready? Okay, good. 24, nice job. Two dozen equals 24, right? Because one dozen equals 12, so two dozen would be 24. So everybody mark your hole as 24 right now. And then before you put your cap back on your marker, um, of these roses, three-fourths of them are red and the rest are white. So how many pieces are we going to split our hole up into? Go. Four. Four. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Four pieces. Okay. Look at the problem one more time. How many fourths? of the roses that Charlie bought are red. Go. Three. 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 So please show three of these fourths as red and the rest are white. Okay. Again, we don't know the numbers yet, but we'll get there. All right. So three fourths you don't have to write this part, this is just an information part. So now you can put the cap on the marker, okay? Three-fourths of the 24 are red, which leaves one-fourth of 24 to be white. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Um, go ahead. Awesome. So we divided our 24 into four parts, okay? But what division sentence should we solve first in order to get how much one piece equals. Donnie. Uh, you should do 24 divided by, uh, 24 divided by three fourths. By how many pieces do I have? Uh, 24 divided by four fourths. Just four, four, four. okay. 24 divided by four, right? Because we want to find out how much one piece equals, okay? It doesn't really matter red versus white. Okay, um, but we're going to find out how much each piece equals. So go ahead and show me 24 divided by 4. Find the answer. You can do it in your head and then write it on your board. No, right now it's 24 divided by 4. Okay, because we need to find out how much one piece equals. Okay, when I say show, you're going to hold up your board right here. Okay. No, I'll be able to see it. 24 divided by 4. Ready? 24 divided by 4. Come on, write it down. You better just write the number. You guys know this in your head. 24 divided by 4. Ready? Show. it into four pieces. Raise your hand. What told us to cut it into four pieces? Raise your hand. What told oh. us? Brady. Um, uh, three, four, four. Good. The fraction, right? The denominator of the fraction. Good. Um, the value of one piece, we did 24 divided by four, right? We split our whole up into four pieces. So to find the value of one of those pieces, we have to do 24 divided by four. That's what we just did. So everybody got that? Okay, then moving on. I mean, we did 24 divided by 4. Okay, one unit equals how much? One piece. Class? Six. Six. Okay, six, yeah. So one unit, one piece equals how much? Go. Six, okay. Four units or four fourths of 24 equals what? Go. 24. So do we have to find what three fourths is of 24? No. We do not. Okay. We just need to find how much are white. So we only need to find what fraction of 24? One. One fourth, right? Yeah. One fourth. So what is one fourth of 24? Ready? Go. Six. Six. So how many white roses did Charlie buy? Go. Six. Six. Okay. And that's it. Valentine's. Okay. Um, so everybody got that? Yes. Cool. 
We will. We will. Like Miss. Yes. Thank you for using it. Valentine's. It is Valentine's. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, so <laughs> what <laughs> the multiplication sentence you guys just solved is one fourth times twenty four. Okay. Everybody see that? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we found one fourth. What's the word I want you to change this to? Two. Uh, oh, the word I want you to change this oh, to? Oh, oh. Oh. Good. Twenty four. Okay. Um, I want to, can we some drink? Okay. Um, I want to paint you a picture really quick. Everybody stop drawing. Stop. By temptation, guys, come on. Okay. Check it out. When we do multiplication, okay, let's say we do six times four. What is six times four? Go. 24. 24. Do you guys remember, I know this is like down here in the corner, okay, but I wrote six times four equals 24. Do y'all remember that this is, we can read this as six groups of four? Yeah. yeah. Right? Listen, six groups of four. So do you see the connection between one fourth of 24, six e. groups of 24, e. or six groups of four equals 24? Everybody get that? E. All right. Yeah, I do. Cool. 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 Um, we're going to do. We're going to do this one together, and then I'm going to have you do one on your own, and then we will move on. Okay? Um, cool. So as soon as I get back, you can go. Um, so then Luke, or not Luke, sorry, Mika, when Luke gets back, you go, okay? All right, that has a loop, I'm just like something. So, all right, cool, you guys ready? Yeah! Okay, erase your boards, and draw me a tape diagram with a bracket, ready, go. I'm trying to wake myself up a little bit. Where's get the sleepy. bracket charting? Can you stop with the poop? Can you move, please? When I poop, my stomach feels like... Yeah. It should. That's normal. Okay. Um, thank you, Brady. Okay. Cool. Everybody got a tape diagram with a bracket? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, should you have anything else on your board other than the tape diagram and the bracket? No. No. If you put something else there, erase it. All right. Here we go. Um, who wants to make a quilt today? Ooh. Okay, Jimena. Not Rosie. Jimena is making a quilt. Who are you making a quilt for, Jimena? Me? Alina. Alina? Oh, cute. She's oh. making you a quilt. That's really sweet. I'm okay. Quilt. Here we go. Did you really go, Brooks? Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to read it to me. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Yes. Uh, Read it to me. Here we go. I'm ready. Go. Hello. Let's 
do it, babe. Come on, come on, come on. Two lines. Ah, Anything? I'm not awake. Sorry. Get awake somehow. All right. Number three, how did we find the value of one piece? How do we find the value of one piece? I don't want the value of one piece, but tell me how I find it. Raise your hand. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Lily, go. Good. We are going to do 17 divided by 3. Huh. Right off the bat, you guys should be like, hmm. Impossible. Right? <laughs> so, um, why is it impossible? Henry. 17 is a prime number. 17 is a prime number. It can only be divided by 1 and 17, right? Um, so, in the fraction world, that is incorrect, okay? Um, fractions, you keep going, right? So we can divide 17 by 3, and we will, okay? So, um, everybody right now on your board, show me 17 divided by 3 as a fraction. Not the answer, but rewrite the division sentence as a fraction. Ready? Go. Write it down. Wow, Rewrite the division sentence as a fraction. Um, the very first lesson we did for this module. Super easy. Okay, ready? Show. You're not solving it, Leela. Um, I, I don't want an answer yet. Good, Luke. Yes, Amanda. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Good. You should have written. Stop. Stop. You should have written this. Okay? Yeah. That's it, guys. Okay? So when I tell you write the division sentence as a fraction, this is what I mean. Okay? So now, do you guys remember how to solve that? Yeah. Okay. So technically, right now, we could say, okay, um, the value of one piece is 17 thirds of a yard. Okay? Um, but, as we learned yesterday with simplifying, does Miss Witt want you to leave your answer like that? No. No. Okay? You should never have an answer as an improper fraction. Okay? We are always going to change an improper fraction to a mixed number. Alright? So, um, right now with your elbow partner, maybe, okay, um, you are going to find the final answer. Okay? So, you are going to do 17 divided by 3. Okay, get a mixed number as your answer, and that will give you one third of 17. Got it? Got it. Okay, you take one minute, do it with your elbow partner, find what 17 thirds simplifies to. Ready, go. Listen. 
wait until you Thank you, Brady. Fast. Okay, the bottom question says, how would you find two thirds of 17? We found one third of 17, which was this. So right now with your elbow partner, find what two thirds of 17 would be. So now Jimena's making a quilt for Melina and for Brooks. Okay, yes. ready, go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about time. It's about time, it's about math, we stay. We stay smart, we stay smart. We devour. Put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's ours. How would you find two things? No, we stay smart. We be. Uh oh, we get on Polished. We stay smart. We get mixed. Do you have an answer? Yeah. Yeah. right or addition again and again okay class add the whole numbers first what's five plus five Sorry, how many pieces 
does one third tell me to divide my whole into? Three. 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 There it is. Okay? And that's it, y'all. And then you need to just find the exact number of them. Okay? Is everybody good? Yes. Yeah. All right. Any questions on what you're doing here? No. Yeah. Uh, where are you getting six from? Yeah. So how much is one piece equal to? Good. Okay. So one piece is equal to six. So one third of 18 is what? Six. Six. Okay. Um, Charlie. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, cool. Garden and crew, come on up.